The Mount of Olives has always been a place of mystery and reverence, but what just happened there has left everyone in shock. As the world watches eagerly, the anticipated ritual of the Red Hypha sacrifice seems closer than ever, and the construction of a massive altar looms at large. But could this signify a pivotal moment in the fulfillment of ancient prophecies, and what impact will it have on the ongoing tensions in the region? Well, join us as we uncover the mysteries and implications of this extraordinary turn of events on the Mount of Olives. To understand what's going on here, we need to go back in time a little bit. In ancient times, during King David's reign, the Mount of Olives was a special place where people believed the divine and human worlds were connected. King David himself found comfort in this sacred area amidst his troubles. However, even in this holy place, he faced the pain of being rejected, forced to leave his own city and betrayed by his own son. But the Mount of Olives is more than a site of sadness, it's also a symbol of hope and a promise of a future king. Here on this significant hillside, the story of humanity's struggle, rejection and eventual acceptance unfolds. But as we stand amidst the ancient stones of this mount, we see not just the history of kings, but also our own lives reflected. These stones carry tales of faith, challenges and the triumph of hope. Now imagine you're on a journey, slowly making your way toward Jerusalem. But just before you arrive, something magical happens. To the east of the city, there's the Mount of Olives, rising majestically above the old city. It's an ancient hill that's both a part of and separate from Jerusalem. When you reach this hill's peak, the view is absolutely stunning. Look west and you'll see the beauty of Jerusalem unfolding before you, with its layers of history and mystery. Then, if you turn your gaze east, you'll see the rugged wilderness of Judea and the peaceful Jordan Valley. Standing on the northern part of the mount, known as Mount Scorpus, you feel like you've travelled back in time. This spot, as historian Josephus noted, is often the first sight of the city. There is a reason Mount Scorpus translates from Greek to mean watchman or mark. For centuries, this mount has watched over travellers and pilgrims, witnessing their first glimpses of Jerusalem. Now picture yourself standing at the top of the Mount of Olives. From here, you can see why this summit was a place of worship long before Solomon's temple was built. The view is truly breathtaking. But there is also a darker side to the mount's history, and here's where things get shocking. Solomon, in his quest to appease many, constructed pagan shrines in the Mount of Olives at a spot known as the Hill of Offense. From there, the shrines loomed directly across from the city of David, a shadow on the sacred landscape that bore witness to both faith and folly. The Mount's strategic position wasn't lost on enemies either. During the siege and destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70, the 10th Roman Legion camped on the Mount opposite the Temple Mount. The higher ground gave them an advantage, while General Titus and other Roman legions set up their camp on Mount Scopus, a little further north. Now let's turn our attention to the mystical and the profound. The Kidron Valley, which many believe to be the future valley of Jehoshaphat, the Lord Judges, holds an ancient prophecy. According to the Book of Joel, God will pass judgment on humanity here. This belief has drawn thousands of Jews to make their final resting place on the Mount of Olives. It's a hauntingly serene place, home to the world's largest Jewish cemetery stretching across the mount. Muslim graves also dot the slopes of the Kidron Valley below the Temple Mount, further emphasizing the layered history and the convergence of faiths that have been intertwined here for centuries. But what significance does all of this have to what's happening today? And why does it seem like we're in the middle of a terrifying biblical prophecy? Well, to understand this, we need to examine one more very important piece of information from the Bible. The Mount of Olives has played a central role in the final days of Jesus' life, a witness to the intertwining of prophecy and the events of the Passion Week. Let's walk through those pivotal moments. First, imagine the triumphal entry. Jesus rides into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, fulfilling ancient prophecies. The crowd welcomes him as the Messiah, their voices resounding with the words of Psalm 118. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This moment of prophecy fulfillment was a stunning declaration. Jesus was presenting himself to Israel as the long-awaited king. Then there is the Olivet Discourse. After leaving the second temple for the final time, Jesus made his way to the Mount of Olives. Seated with his disciples, he spoke of the future and prophesied about his second coming. 
His words painted a vivid picture of what lay ahead, leaving his followers with a mix of awe and anticipation. But the Mount's story takes a darker turn. Just days later, it became the setting for betrayal and abandonment. On the same slopes where the crowd had recently hailed Jesus with joy, Judas betrayed him, leading to his arrest. Prophecies from Psalm 41 and Zechariah 14 were fulfilled as the disciples scattered, leaving Jesus to face what was coming alone. Finally, the ascension. Jesus, standing with his disciples, speaks his final words, giving them the great commission to spread his teachings across the world. Then, right there on the mount, he ascends to heaven. The disciples watch in awe as their teacher and savior rises beyond their sight. It must have been a moment of wonder, a mix of joy and confusion, knowing their journey had just begun without their leader physically beside them. But this isn't the end of the story, and you might want to pay close attention to this next part now. Zechariah prophesies that just as Jesus left from the Mount of Olives, he will return to the same spot. His feet will touch down in the Mount again, signaling his second coming. The Mount is more than just a place where he ascended. It's destined to be the stage for his return, fulfilling ancient prophecies. Today, the Mount of Olives is home to various churches that commemorate these significant events. One such place is the Church of the Paternoster, marking a sacred spot connected with the Cave of Eleona, where legends tie Jesus' ascension. The cave is also associated with the Olivet Discourse, where Jesus spoke about the future. What makes the Church of the Paternoster stand out is its celebration of the Our Father Prayer, also known as the Lord's Prayer. Displayed in over a hundred languages, the prayer adorns the cloister walls, honoring Jesus' words and the universal nature of the prayer. Now let's explore some remarkable religious sites in Jerusalem which have deep historical significance. And trust me, all the pieces will start to fit together very soon. First, there is the Dominus Flevit Church, shaped like a teardrop representing the tears Jesus shed over Jerusalem. It's believed he stopped here during his triumphal entry to mourn the city's fate. Next is the Church of All Nations, situated where the Garden of Gethsemane is thought to have been. Inside, scenes depict Jesus' prayers before his arrest. Then there is the Russian Ascension Church, home to Russian nuns since the late 1800s. Its tall tower once offered distant pilgrims views of the Jordan River. Finally, we have the Church of Mary Magdalene, known for its golden domes and mosaic depicting a legend about Mary Magdalene and Emperor Tiberius. Moving on to the Mosque of the Ascension on the Mount of Olives, it commemorates Jesus' ascension into heaven and has seen many renovations over the centuries. The Mount of Olives holds significance in Jesus' life. It's where he wept over Jerusalem's fate and later, in the Garden of Gethsemane, prayed before his crucifixion. These events reflect moments of sorrow and sacrifice in Jesus' life, reminding us of our own struggles and the promise of redemption through his sacrifice and resurrection. For those who believe in Jesus, there is hope in his second coming. When he returns, his feet will once again stand on the Mount of Olives, and the faithful will return with him. In that moment, the Mount may truly become a place of worship like never before. But let's take a pause for a moment now, just a moment, because things are about to get interesting. Fast forward to the present day, Israel's recent import of red hyphas from Texas has stirred curiosity around the world. As the potential fulfillment of ancient biblical prophecy looms, the perfect red hypha, a rare and specific requirement, is essential for the ritual purification process, crucial for the construction of the third temple in Jerusalem. The quest to build the temple is a passionate aim for some radical Jewish groups who see it as a key step towards the arrival of the Messiah. However, the significance of the proposed site cannot be overstated. The Temple Mount in Jerusalem's old city is not just any location. It's a convergence of sacred sites. It holds the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock Shrine, which stands as two of the most important and revered places in Islam. This creates a delicate and often volatile balance, as the area has been a source of tension and conflict between Israelis and Palestinians for generations. As reports of a massive altar being prepared in Jerusalem begin to surface, the world watches with bated breath. What may seem to some as a religious undertaking could be perceived by others as a provocation, reigniting old disputes and opening new wounds. The potential construction of the Third Temple touches upon deep historical, religious and political sensitivities, and the stakes are high. 
the anticipation around the potential 10th Red Haifa sacrifice has cast a spotlight on Israel, drawing worldwide attention to this deeply significant event. Since the time of Moses, only nine Red Haifas have been sacrificed, highlighting how rare and sacred the ritual is in the Jewish tradition. Now, as preparations for the 10th offering reach an advanced stage, eyes are fixed on the land of Israel. In September 2022, five Red Haifas made their journey from Texas to Israel. This transport marked a notable moment as the Haifas were carefully selected for their purity and condition. Since then, one Haifa has been disqualified, but the remaining four continue to stand as possible candidates for the ritual sacrifice. They are being watched over with great care and their role in the potential ceremony is being meticulously planned. Whispers of a massive altar being constructed in Israel have only heightened the sense of anticipation. Since an altar would be needed for the ceremonial offering and its reported construction is a clear sign of the dedication and seriousness with which this endeavor is being pursued. The event, if it comes to pass, would not only be momentous for religious terms but could also have significant cultural and political implications. The rarity of the Red Heifers and the profound meaning of the sacrifice draw observers from all corners of the world, intrigued by the possibility of witnessing a piece of living history. The planned location of the Red Heifer sacrifice on the Mount of Olives overlooking the historic Temple Mount amplifies the ceremony's significance. This sacred ground is steeped in history and tradition, marking it as a focal point of faith and reverence. Speculation had been mounting about the timing of the sacrifice, with suggestions that it could take place during the upcoming Passover celebrations. This potential alignment has added to the anticipation as Israel meticulously prepares for the ritual and the events that may follow. However, the backdrop of religious fervor is also shadowed by geopolitical tensions. Hamas has acknowledged the symbolic significance of the Red Heifers, viewing them as a catalyst for potential hostilities against Israel. The possibility of the sacrifice threatens to inflame existing tensions, raising concerns about unrest and international ramifications. The convergence of religious, cultural and political factors in this situation creates an atmosphere of heightened sensitivity and watchfulness. Israel braces itself for the possible repercussions of this historic event, while the world observes closely, aware of the broader implications. The Mount of Olives stands as the stage where these ancient traditions and modern challenges intersect, offering a glimpse into a moment that could shape the course of history.